Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back to my kitchen. So today we're making a spaghetti meat sauce for some pasta. Uh, but before we dive into today's recipe, um, if you're new here, remember to uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And to all of my returning viewers, I want to thank you for your support. Your comments and likes mean the world to me. So let's grab our aprons and let's get started with our spaghetti sauce. For our spaghetti meat sauce, we are going to need the following. Uh, some ground beef, uh, and I use 80-20. Uh, some onion, some garlic, some salt, tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, and we're going to be using the ones that have the basil, garlic, and oregano. We're going to need a little bit of sugar, then some basil, some oregano, some salt, and some pepper. So let's get over to the stove and start building our sauce. All right, so we've got us a pan heated up over a medium high heat. And to this, we're going to add in our ground beef. And we're going to break it up as we're putting it in there. To this, we are going to add in our onions. And our garlic. And just a little bit of salt. And probably about a half teaspoon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue cooking this um, to where the meat is no longer pink. And this will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, so we've got us a pan heated up over a medium high heat. And to this, we're going to add in our ground beef. And we're going to break it up as we're putting it in there. To this, we are going to add in our onions. And our garlic. And just a little bit of salt. And probably about a half teaspoon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue cooking this um, to where the meat is no longer pink. And this will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. So I went ahead and moved over to a larger pot whenever I poured off some of our drippings. So now what we're going to do is we are going to start adding in our crushed tomatoes.
sliced tomatoes. That looks great out of those. Yeah, but it's a good thing I did switch over to a bigger pot. sauce is starting to come up to a boil so we are going to be adding in our oregano our basil a little bit of sugar and some salt and pepper and we're going to give this a good stir Now what we're going to do, we are going to cover this and let this simmer for about 30 minutes. Alright, so our sauce has been cooking down for about 30 minutes and we've got us a nice bowl of freshly cooked pasta. So we're going to give us a couple big scoops. There we go. And now we're going to top this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And if you like, you can also use an Italian sausage in this, um, either equal amount or you can do half and half. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Also want to express my thanks to each and every one of you who have supported the channel. So I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. And remember, be nice and be kind because it could change someone's day. And as always, enjoy cooking in the kitchen.